the morning on August 19, the Costa Pacifica sailed into Stockholm, the capital city of Sweden. Upon disembarkation, we were bused to Gamla Stan, Stockholm's old town, for a visit of the royal palace that coincided with the changing of the guard ceremony and finally a walking tour around Gamla Stan. The Royal Palace is the official residence and major royal palace of the Swedish monarch. It is located on Stadsholmen in Gamla Stan, Old Town, in the capital Stockholm. The palace dates from 1754. Views of the Low Garden on the Eastern Facade Adorning the balustrade and closing the lower garden are four allegorical sculptures representing mercy, religion, music, and poetry. This is one of the two waterfalls located on the two wings that project towards the east. The plaque between the sculptures of Tessin and Harleman honors King Oscar II. In front of the southern façade of the Royal Palace and on a temporary visit is the statue of Crown Prince Karl XIV Johann, erected in 1854 at Slusen. The southern façade is the most ornate, with statues, sculptures and reliefs. The center of the façade is made in the shape of a triumphal arch, with a portal, also known as the South Arch, flanked by three columns made in Corinthian order on each side. The arch of the southern facade leads to the inner court. The design of the large inner courtyard with its access to the low garden and the more bro is inspired by the courtyard at the Louvre. The palace has a total of 28 statues, 717 balusters, 972 windows, 31,600 window panes, and approximately 7,500 windows, doors, and gates. The south stairwell is an impressive double grand staircase beneath a two-story rotunda that leads to the Hall of State that contains the silver throne of Queen Christina. Up until 1975, the King opened Parliament every year with a formal ceremony held in the Hall of State. The opening ceremony now takes place in the Parliament building, but the Hall of State is still used on other state occasions. Queen Christina received the silver throne as a gift from Magnus Gabriel de la Gardie on the occasion of her coronation in 1650. It was made by the goldsmith Abraham Drentwet in Augsburg. The Apartments of the Orders of Chivalry <music> Color with cross from the mid-1700s and embroidered star from the early 19th century. Vestment of the Bishop of the Order from about 1783. 
The Wave on the Beach, marble sculpture created in 1898 by Theodor Lundberg. On the landing between the state apartments and the guest apartments is this marble sculpture by Johann Niklas Bistrom that dates to around 1820. It represents the goddess Juno together with the child Hercules. Originally intended for ceremonies and official entertaining, the state apartments were used by Gustav III and Carl XIV Johann for residential purposes. Three or four official dinners take place each year in Carl XI's gallery. Sophia Magdalena's state bed chamber was furnished by Jean Eric Wren during the 1770s. The room derives its name from the woven tapestries, which feature scenes from Cervantes' story of Don Quixote. This bureau dates from the 1760s and is signed by apprentice David Gabriel Stump. This is the palace's old ballroom, with ceiling paintings dating from the 18th century. The White Sea Room was originally two separate rooms, the Queen's dining room and her guards' hall. The rooms were remodeled in 1845. The central wall was demolished and the new room was decorated as a banqueting hall and ballroom for King Oscar I and Queen Josephina. The oak parquet flooring with inlaid woods, including birch, mahogany, and lemon wood, was laid in 1845. Portraits of Queen Sylvia and King Carl Gustav the 16th of Sweden. This room is used occasionally for large receptions to recognize people who have made significant local and regional or national contributions. Thank you. 
The throne canopy and carpet were designed by Jean-Éric Wren. The throne itself is one of two made for the coronation of Adolf Friedrich and Luisa Ulrica in Stockholm Cathedral in 1751. Officially opened on 6 June 2001, this room was refurbished to mark the King's Silver Jubilee in 1998. The portraits depicting the king and queen were painted by Katrine Nasmark. The room is a showcase for Swedish materials and craftsmanship on the theme of a Swedish summer's day. The breakfast room furnished between 1873-1874. The Bernadotte Gallery contains pictures of almost all the older members of the royal family. The Victoria Salon and the Splendor of the 1800s, both the chandeliers and the carpets, are impressive in size. The room is a fine example of Victorian style. The outer courtyard is the main area for the changing of the guard ceremony, that includes a military marching band and a parade. The bronze statue of Gustav III is from 1808. It depicts the monarch dressed in a naval uniform and a mantle, handing over an olive twig to the Swedish people as he is heroically landing on the quay following the Russian War 1788-1790.
The great church officially named Church of St. Nicholas and informally called Stockholm Cathedral is the oldest church in Gamlestan, the old town, and is an important example of Swedish brick Gothic. St. George and the Dragon, inaugurated in 1912, is a bronze replica of the late medieval wooden sculpture located in the Church of St. Nicholas. This is the secluded location where the smallest public monument of Stockholm stands. Little boy that looks at the moon is only 5.9 inches high. This is a replica of one of the horses of St. Mark's Square in Venice. Then it was back to the Costa Pacifica for the sailing along the Stockholm archipelago on the way to the next port of call, Helsinki in Finland. <laughs> <laughs> 